Her Majesty stepped out today for her first engagement of a four-day visit to Scotland, accompanied by the Duke of Cambridge. The monarch, 95, and her grandson, 39, visited Agbar's factory, where urn brew is manufactured. The Queen is staying at her official residence, the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh during Royal Week, also known as Holyrood Week. Over the next few days, she will also visit businesses, charities and cultural institutions in Edinburgh, Glasgow and Stirling. She was accompanied by William, known as the Earl of Strathern in Scotland, for the first day of her visit and will be joined by her daughter Princess Anne on Wednesday and Thursday. The royals are therefore out in full force this week for the annual celebration of Scottish culture, achievement and community. This is the third time William has been up to Scotland for engagements in the last six months, which is a lot considering that has included months of lockdown. He and Kate popped up to Scotland during their royal train tour in December, and went up again recently for a series of engagements around William's appointment as High Commissioner of the 2021 General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. William and Kate have reportedly decided to start spending more time north of the border amid concern about Scottish nationalism. Royal aides are believed to have asked that the couple spend more time at Balmoral under plans drawn up to bolster the Union. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers. Mr. Myers said, we've been speaking on increasing frequency, haven't we, about royals dipping their toe into politics. Certainly William and Kate going up to Scotland, that story in the Sunday Times about, certainly they are more interested in taking the bull by the horns and believing that the politicians are losing Scotland. So, that's quite interesting, if they start spending a bit more time north of the border. Of course, they're both well known to adore Scotland and it has given them an awful lot of joy in their lives and William is very protective of the Union in his new role as Lord High Commissioner of the Church of Scotland. The royal family has strong links to Scotland historically, being descended from King James I, a Scottish king who was brought on to be King of England as well. The Queen famously loves her time at Balmoral Castle during the summer months, where the family engages in country pursuits. William gave a moving speech to the 2021 General Assembly of the Church of Scotland in which he described how Scotland has brought him joy in his life and comforted him in times of sadness. He recalled fun summers at Balmoral as a child, but said it is also where he found out his mother Princess Diana had died. He said, still in shock, I found sanctuary in the service at Crappy Kirk that very morning. And in the dark days of grief that followed, I found comfort and solace in the Scottish outdoors. As a result, the connection I feel to Scotland will forever run deep. He also talked about how he and Kate met at St Andrews University, owing their life together and their family to the institution. William is said to be protective of the Union, and it is likely he will continue to visit frequently, along with Kate, in the months and years to come. To subscribe to Pod Save the Queen go to your normal podcast provider.